guys welcome back to my channel it's Peyton and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I installed this wig that I received from App Sister Wig. After this installation video will be my review after two weeks so I hope you guys enjoy it and let's hop right in with the tutorial. I'm using these two powder foundation um, and concealers and this little foundation brush to apply that onto the lace but this is honestly going to be a really simple installation video I have so many of these but if you guys want an in-depth one just let me know anyway I always start off by cutting around my ear and there's really no how to it's kind of just like um, a watch and do kind of thing because it's kind of hard to say like how to cut around the ear but I basically cut off any excess lace that covers my ear and then I leave a little strip in the front of my ear kind of like for a sideburns effect but this is also optional some people just cut off anything that goes past their ear and that's fine too but this is my method So now I'm going to be using Ghost Bond XL glue and I like to do three layers of this glue so all I do is just take a little bit and just dab it and I also sectioned in this tutorial so I did the middle section then the left section then the right section so as you can see I'm just applying a layer and then using a popsicle stick to rub it in then blow drying it with cool air for about 20 seconds and then just repeating that two more times for a total of three layers and I do that in each section so it's really simple but you got to take your time and apply thin layers so that you don't put too much and after I apply three layers then I just go ahead and press the lace down it's better to use a rat tail comb like the end of a rat tail comb to press it down but I was just using my fingers here um, just because you don't want the oil from your fingers to transfer over but it's not that serious honestly as long as you blow dry it uh, afterwards you'll be good Just a quick little note, also notice how I will continue to go back in. That's also really important because sometimes you might miss spots. So just going back in to ensure that your lace is flat is always like the best thing to do, especially if you want it to last a longer time. So although this wig did come pre-plucked, I just went in with some tweezers and plucked it up some more just to make it look a little bit more naturalistic because with light hair, it's just kind of, it can look fake really, really fast. 
and then after that I just went in with some powder concealer and just applied that to the perimeter and I also put it on my part just to make it look more natural but I did have to go back in with bronzer afterwards because the foundation powder was not dark enough <laughs> Then afterwards, I took my plug-in pressing comb and I used that to make the hair a lot more flat. And this pressing comb is the truth. If you want to know how to make all your installs look super flat and natural, you need a pressing comb or a plug-in pressing comb. It doesn't really matter, but I like to use my plug-in one. And then you can see me here going back in with the bronzer to make it look a little bit darker. And I also went back in with my little hair cutter and I tried to cut some baby hairs but I didn't really end up making too many baby hairs but as you guys can see here is me just trying to lay it down. I just thought the baby hairs didn't really look too realistic just because his hair is so bright but I think no baby hair is like the best option for hair colors that look really, really bright like this one. So at this point I'm basically almost done with the installation and I forgot to show this but I just took a scarf and wrapped it around my head for 20 minutes, took it off and it looked really flat and amazing. So this was the end result, I hope you guys liked it. And in my review my hair looks a little worse because I had already had it in for two weeks but it still looked good here anyway so let's hop right into the review. review I just got ready to go to the club and I'm supposed to be leaving in like 10 minutes so I'm literally about to breeze through this video but no worries I'm gonna give you guys all the tips and details that you need to know about this wig so to begin I got this unit from Ask Sister Wig this is the third review that I've done for them and this time they sent me this silver wig now you guys are probably like girl that's not silver but trust me when I got it when I got this wig it was silver you guys are gonna see in the installation video the color was a little bit different so the color did like change a little bit but I still think it looks kind of silver but it's more like on the ash blonde platinum side now anyway so it came in this box it did come really fast it came in like four days um and i've never had any problem with app sister wig shipping of course anytime i get the unit it comes in this netting and it'll this will be inside the wig and then they usually give me um a comb some clips and then it has like this little instruction booklet but yeah if you if you're a returning subscriber you already know they always send like goodies that's why i like them and they send this box i'm not really a fan of boxes i actually like bags so i could put the wig in the bag but it's fine i have so many bags that i don't even need it but yeah so this is the box right here now i'm going to read you guys the specs on this unit so let me get the information really quickly so this is their brazilian straight silver unit um it came this color and the color did change like over time honestly and i've had this wig on for like a week and a half now and i honestly love it so far um i'll have all the details in the description box below because i can't find all of the information i know this unit is 22 inches and it falls like right under my boobs yeah it's pretty full they didn't send me all the specs for this unit um they just sent it to me but like i don't even i don't know the density or anything like that but it will all be in the description box below i got this wig i installed it i really didn't do anything to this hair except customize the the perimeter a little bit i've had this wig on for a while now so of course my perimeter is looking a little crusty but i hope you guys can't tell <laughs> as you guys are going to see in the tutorial video i did like use foundation and concealer to make it look a little bit more natural and i do think i like this lace a lot better than my 613 wig that i dyed ash blonde lace um just because that lace was a little bit thicker this one was a little bit easier to manipulate because it was thinner so yeah i do like that about this and i guess i'm just like going into the pros and the cons but yeah this hair is like so soft so pretty i've gotten so many compliments with the color some people think it's silver some people think it's lavender some people think it's pink i don't know like i think the hair honestly changes colors if we're being real but right now on this camera it looks ash blonde and for like the past two days it's been looking ash blonde i think when i wash it maybe the color will like go back to the silvery silverish tone but i'm not tripping i really think it's bomb anyway like you can see how kind of it looks more silverish under here and it looks more yellow up here it could probably also be because i've got like foundation on this hair here and there like i said i've had this hair on for a while now so it is i haven't washed it in about 
almost two weeks so yeah it is like a little bit dirty because i do put on like makeup and i do my makeup after i do my hair so it gets on it anyway that's what i had to say about that color um yeah and it's really soft it's really and it came really quickly and i just think this wig is really amazing i think of all three wigs that i've tried from app sister wig this has to be my favorite the blue one not really my not really a fan of it that much Ash blonde one i liked it but i did that color myself and this it came this color so i really liked it and it was pre-plucked and it was just bomb like the volume is bomb this is like so much softer compared to the other wigs that i've tried from them and it's just so pretty i get so many compliments and i'm gonna turn around and let you guys see what it looks like from the back yeah so that's basically all i had to say for that um for the cons i would say yeah i would say that the color changed i don't know why but i think maybe after i wash the hair the color is going to go back i think the color changed just because i got foundation on it and it's like kind of kind of dirty now so yeah i'll keep you guys updated with that and of course you guys can check my instagram at pita.be if you do want to see any updates with the wig because i'll probably just post about it after i wash the hair and wear it again before this video i uploaded a vlog and in my vlog this hair looks silver so if you guys think i'm lying like i'm gonna input some clips of the hair at first and it looks different shades in different videos in different lighting so yeah don't worry if y'all are probably like girl this is blonde like no it's it's silver and i think it's gonna go back to silver after um the shedding has been honestly really minimalistic which is surprising because this is 613 hair and i haven't had tangling at all either i've curled this hair and and for the most part, I've worn it straight. I wore it, cur I wore it curled for two days. Um, and I use like a wand curl to curl it. But other than that, I've just straightened it. I've only had a middle part. But this is a frontal. So it's from ear to ear. And it is pre-plucked. And I agree, like it is pre-plucked. And I had to pluck it some more just so it could look a little bit more realistic. But for the most part, it looks good. I love it. Um, yeah, this hair is just so bomb. I for sure give this a 9 out of 10. Um, because after anytime I've worked with after sister wig in the past, it's kind of been like, eh. But this time, like, I really like this hair. Like, everybody likes this hair. And I've got the most compliments with this wig compared to any other wig that I got from them. So, just a pro tip. If y'all are filling this unit, you know what? Go ahead and click buy. And it's really cheap, too. So, cheap color came this way. And it's a really a good quality hair. Why not purchase it? You already know. I already know what to do that's really all i had to say about this hair i'm going to have the details in the description box below thank you after sister wig for working with me again and i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to give it a big giant thumbs up make sure you guys comment down below if you have any questions and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button i'll see you guys next time and thanks for watching bye